Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Jasmine Summerford here. And I thought I would do something a little bit different, kind of like a day in my life video. So kind of like a vlog style video of just walking you through the day and what I do. Right now I just have my coffee um, here. I just sent my husband off to work. So he's there, he's at work. And today I have a few errands to run. I need to clean up this apartment. It's kind of like a mess. Um, I also need to head to the grocery store to get something to cook for dinner. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's something new for me, so please keep that in mind when watching. And let's jump into it. <music> Okay, so just finished sweeping, mopping, straightening up, and now everything's kind of in its place. Leia, you want your toy? <laughs> she wants her toy. Let me take it You guys, there. look how cute she looks. She's just hanging out on top of her little toy. Hugging it. I guess she's scared I'm going to take it away again. Oh, little Leia. <laughs> so. 
so just finished cleaning up the apartment mopping sweeping all that it's right now it's like 10 a.m i would like to wait a little later to go to the grocery store because right next to my grocery store is a dunkin donuts and i heard they're giving out free iced coffee from 12 to 1. so i'd like to wait till about 12 o'clock to go but we'll see if we're some source i'll just get it and buy an iced coffee no big deal so right now i am just about to eat a yogurt haven't eaten anything all morning all i had was my coffee so um oh for anyone who has pku or knows someone who has pku um these coconut milk yogurt alternative by so delicious um yogurts this is the strawberry one they're super good and they have literally less than one gram of protein in them so absolutely no protein in them and honestly they taste really good i can't i can't even tell it, honestly it just tastes like a regular yogurt to me because i've tasted yogurt and like just like tasted it and it tastes the same it's super good and the strawberry isn't like super sweet but you could tell it's in there so definitely try this if you guys haven't tried it and you're looking for low protein yogurts this stuff is really good so now i'm just gonna eat this have some orange juice and um i have my notepad here so i'm just going to write out a grocery list just so i know exactly what i need for when i go grocery shopping I just finished um, doing my hair and makeup. Just did a quick face. I didn't want to record all that for you because I know like brushing my teeth, washing my face, doing all that probably would have made this video like really long and unnecessary. But I just did a quick face and used my T3 um, curling iron just to put some soft curls in my hair. And I also got dressed. Let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm just wearing this cute, um, like baseball kind of styled t shirt. It's beige and green. It says take a hike on it with these um, workout leggings. These are from Target, they're like army fatigue and some sneakers not going anywhere fancy so I think this will do and off to the supermarket we go <sighs> got my coffee mm. super yummy pumpkin spice time guys go get you one so just got home from doing groceries and getting some Dunkin Donuts. Mm. Whew, there's three flights of stairs to walk up in my building. So it's like whew, exhausting. But um, I'm going to show you guys some things I picked up at the supermarket. Not too much. I didn't get too many things. I only had like a very short list because today's already... Today's already... Wednesday so I didn't have a lot of things to pick up for the week I usually don't really cook on Saturday and Sunday hubby kind of gives me like a break from cooking so um let me show you what I got okay to start um got my hubby some uh multi-grain bread because he requested it he likes to make himself sandwiches at work um also picked up these are my hash browns from Dunkin' Donuts and also picked up some eggs. And then in here, I picked up, oh my gosh, this, guys, this stuff looks so good. So it's like bananas and strawberries. I like to make um, a lot of uh, smoothies in the mornings, like even if... I have like a small breakfast. I'll have like a smoothie for like lunch and I'll always put fruits 
in it and like put it in my ninja this stuff is super good so um i also picked up my hubby some bacon for the morning because i usually make him bacon with eggs um, and then tomorrow is Thursday, so I picked up some uh, ground beef for tomorrow because I figured I would make uh, either meatloaf or meatballs or something like that. So just to change it up. And then for tonight, I got some fresh broccoli and uh, I have corn here because we were running. We actually had absolutely no corn and I thought we did. So some canned corn, some, tonight I'm also going to be making some uh, two twice baked potatoes. If you guys have never uh, heard of twice baked potatoes, it's basically just baked potatoes. You bake them at a really high temperature, so like 400 degrees, about 40 to 50 minutes, depending on how big your potato is. These will probably be about 40 45 minutes maybe and basically you get the skin nice and crispy then you scoop out all the potato and you season the potato mash it up put it back into the into the potato skins and then basically bake it for like 10 minutes more that skin is gonna become super crunchy and then the mashed potato in the middle it tastes super good once you season it with some butter salt garlic pepper oh my gosh you guys so good i'll Maybe I'll show a clip of me making them and prepping them up next. And then, okay, for the next thing, oh, my hubby actually, he requested uh, chicken breast. So this is the chicken breast I got. Um, I'm going to basically make him chicken breast. I'm going to bake them for him in the oven tonight. And I will show you guys uh, how I season it and everything. So next thing I'm going to do today is prep dinner. I usually like to prep dinner um, earlier just so that my meat and everything is seasoned and ready to go. And all I have to do is just cook it and throw it in the oven. So today I'm making chicken breast with baked chicken breast with twice baked potatoes. So I'm going to show you how I prepare it. Bear with me. My kitchen is small. So the footage may not be the best but I'm gonna try my best to show you everything I'm using everything I use to season the meat and everything else just all my steps okay so the first thing you want to do is rinse your chicken and then kind of take your chicken put it in like a ziploc bag if you don't have a ziploc bag you can also just um, put it between two pieces of wax paper this chicken was super thick and I basically had to flatten it out. So um, you can use a meat mallet with that, for that, or I honestly just did it this way. Um, I'm using this bottle of avocado oil and kind of rolling it like so and banging it out. So this is basically my first step to making my baked chicken. So I is kind of like put out everything that I use to season my chicken breast. Obviously, I use salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Oh my, this guys, this stuff is so good. This stuff is by McCormick. It's called garlic powder with parsley. And if you guys are in the, are in the need for some garlic powder, you should definitely try this stuff. I really love it. I found it maybe like. I want to say a few months ago and oh my gosh I love it it makes such a difference in your food so good it has parsley in it so it's a little bit different than your regular garlic powder definitely give it a try if you have it also I'm adding some chicken seasoning I use a little bit of that and I know this is gonna sound crazy but I also use a little bit of maple syrup um, and I will show you how I use it um, next so I basically seasoned all of the, the chicken with all the seasoning that I showed you guys um, but before I did that I just doused it in olive oil I used the Bertoli 
olive oil here and I like massaged it into the chicken breast and then I flipped it and seasoned both sides with all those seasonings. Now that all the se hard seasoning is in and we've kind of massaged it in, um, now I'm going to take my maple syrup and I know this sounds weird you guys but you guys are just going to have to trust me. I'm not going to lie, usually I would use brown sugar but I'm all out of brown sugar right now even though I went to the supermarket I completely forgot that we needed it. And you're just going to douse your chicken breast in that, that maple syrup. And we're going to leave this in the fridge, kind of like in this aluminum foil to marinate and all this. And then once I'm ready to bake, I will toss it into the oven. So next for the baked potatoes, what I did here was I used a fork to poke a ton of holes in the baked potatoes. Um, and I'm just putting it in this um, glass uh, bowl here. A lot of people like to wrap their baked potatoes in aluminum foil and cook them because um, they do generally cook faster. But I learned um, after making baked potatoes for a long time that baked potatoes, actually the skin gets more crispy when you are are leaving the baked potatoes out just in the in the stove on their own so I just poked a ton of holes in them and also rubbed olive oil the Bertoli olive oil uh, all over them and then seasoned the skin as if I would kind of like a french fry I guess <laughs> I just seasoned up with salt pepper but I did add a little bit of garlic powder because I'm like a garlic like enthusiast <laughs> so I basically just seasoned it up when we put these in the oven we're gonna put them in at a high temp for about 400 degrees for about 45 minutes and then the skin will be super crunchy you guys that is the key to making super like crunchy skinned potatoes where the outside is really crisp and the inside is nice and fluffy definitely one of my favorite dishes are these baked potatoes and then I'm gonna take my broccoli um, and fill up the potato with it uh, I usually cook the broccoli on the stovetop like uh, just saute it up with some garlic salt and pepper and then toss it into my baked potato and it is super good so now I'm just prepping my broccoli I chopped it up I also chopped up an onion and I toss it into this yellow bowl here. Um, I season it with sea salt, pepper, garlic, and I added some minced garlic in there. And once my potatoes are pretty much done cooking, then I'll start sauteing this up in the pan. They don't take long to cook, so I'll just do it, do basically this last. So the chicken just finished. It looks so nice it looks super juicy and you can tell that it kind of got crusty about the last maybe four or five minutes I did put it in the broiler for the top to get a little bit crunchy and now it is all done so my baked potatoes are pretty much almost done maybe like ten more minutes on them so I'm sauteing up my broccoli and this just is how I do it right in the pan for a few minutes until the onions are nice and brown and I like my broccoli kind of crispy so I don't leave it on the heat for too long. So this is the finished meal you guys. I just finish the potatoes the skin got a little too crispy <laughs> because the skin kind of broke when I scooped out the potato but I managed to still save some of it and then I seasoned the potatoes with salt pepper um garlic I added a little bit of sour cream and for my husband I added a little bit of shredded cheese then I added the sauteed broccoli up top that is the chicken 
and I just served it with a bed of arugula. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I know that this one was super long compared to my other videos, but I do hope you enjoyed it anyway, just spending some time with me and seeing what I do throughout the day. Um, if you guys happen to try that baked chicken recipe, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want more videos like this, just give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you guys are enjoying this content. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button below. So that way you can be notified every time I have brand new videos here on my channel. See you again next time. Bye.